launch of the Brighton Walk of Fame. Over a hundred famous people from the area have been inducted into the brand new Walk of Fame, which is modelled on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. With us at the party tonight, there's line of Adam Faith, Leo Sayer, who you can hear in the background behind me playing live, Chris Eubank, Sally Gunnell, Mark Little. Yes, I know he's Australian, but he's lived here for 10 years, so he counts too. Nick Berry's in there, Des Lynam's in there. You can see Roger Daltrey over my shoulder. They all come from the Brighton area, and they're all part of the Brighton Walk of Fame. I think it's a wonderful night for Brighton, and I'm so thrilled for David Courtney, the guy who with me wrote all of my early songs and um, the guy who discovered me actually. I mean common knowledge is that everybody thinks that Adam Faith discovered me but it was David Courtney and this is David's project so he's dreamed about this. In fact I remember we did an album in 1979 in, uh, in Hollywood and he said you know wouldn't it be great if we did this for Brighton? They should have and I said you're mad. And he said, well, Brighton will be a city one day. And I said, you're mad. It will never be a city. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I can only think, I think it's an incredible achievement. I think it's great for the city, great for the, great for the place, great for the South Coast. Um, we rarely get honours down here. But, you know, you think back to Prince Regent, we were once a very, very important part of the UK. We were looked on as the sunshine town, you know? So, I mean, basically, I think it's a great victory. This is a wonderful thing for Brighton. It's nice, yeah. And also, and we've, got, we, we've, we've got very old links with Brighton. I mean, our, our career, uh, the early part of it, a lot of it was spent in Brighton at the Aquarium when it was a ballroom. So, uh, very fond memories. And a bit of filming here and as well. And we filmed Quadrophenia here, so again, very, very fond memories. There's also the connection to David Courtney that's got the project together. You've worked with him in the past. Yeah, um, they turned up on my doorstep one day with a little guy named Leo Sayer who couldn't get a record deal and uh, I wanted to make some demos in my studio and it and um, it all went from there. Sally you've got many many honours over the years but this is quite a special one. It is, it's lovely to come down here and, and do something with, which is local as well, you know often you go to these big glamorous do's which are uh, you know up in London and uh, now I feel very privileged, I know there's a, there's a lot of good names here tonight and um, to be part of it I feel very privileged. What is your Brighton history? Um, I'm married to a Brightonian, so I've, been, I've lived actually down here for 15 years now, so I feel very much as though I'm part of the area. So, it's England. It's, it's England. the Brighton Walk of Fame, and I can tell from the accent you're a local. So Indeed. Yeah. So, <laughs> what's the connection? Uh, I've lived here for 10 years now. This is my adopted town, city now, Brighton Hope yeah. City. And, um, I don't know, it just popped up, because it's a people's vote. So I was just um, picked out of the hat by the folk. Uh, to be on this walk of fame. It's a long way from Joe Mangle, isn't it? It's a really long way. Oh, well, he's always there to, re you know, always a constant reminder. Joe Mangle's never far around the corner. He will never go away. No, he'll think. never die. Okay. He'll never die. And he's a big reason I'm sure I'm part of this walk of fame. It must be quite nice to get an honour like this, but not one in London. Yeah, I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm not too sure what's. Uh, What's the deal, really? I'm going to find out. Oh, there's a, bit of, there's a picture of me. It's a rather old one. The Brighton um, connection. It's a yes. loose connection, it's is it? Loose, well, no, I live in Hove, and I know Dave Courtney, who's put the thing together. So um, he said, come on down. Congratulations on the Walk of Fame. Thanks very much. It's obviously modelled on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but you've taken it a step or so further. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. This will be the first in the country. The difference, big difference between this and Hollywood is that uh, other than we give people four stars and they only give them one, but uh, the real difference is that Hollywood really concentrates on people in the entertainment world. And this will be the first Walk of Fame, I think, anywhere in the world that covers people, especially in Brighton, across the creative and historic spectrum from Roger Kipling, Terence Rattigan, through to ABBA, The Who, Sally Gunnell, Chris Eubank, a total spectrum of people from all walks of life, all uh, famous people associated with the, with the town of, or the city of Brighton and Hove. Now obviously you've got a connection with the town, but this has taken a long time to set up, hasn't it? Oh yeah, it's actually five and a half years, <laughs> and it feels there right now, but but uh, no, it's been worthwhile. Yeah, five and a half years in the in the development, and um, and we've got it here at Brighton Marina. Uh, we found that it was a, a prestigious home for the Walk of Fame, and um, this, as I say, this year we'll be laying down the first hundred, and then consecutive years we will induct new people that again will be voted for by the people of Brighton and Hove. The next move on from here is that we're looking into London now to create the West End Walk of Fame, and. 
then we're looking into Blackpool to do the Entertainers and Comedians Walk of Fame, and then national ones for Scotland, Ireland, Wales, for the sons and daughters of those countries. The launch of the Brighton Walk of Fame has been a great success. Leo Steyer still playing in the background, and the founder, his old co-writing partner from the 1970s, including the song you're listening to right now, David Courtney, is the man that's launched the whole project. The Brighton Walk of Fame is now here, and it's here to stay.